Hello there. Last week, uh, we got to see the basic design for the power armor's uh, control mechanism. A couple of uh, double pull, double throw switches on some uh, sliders. But, I've built something a bit more complicated, which I'm going to be showing off today, so we can just get rid of this. Yeah. And show this off. I'm not going inside of it because the um, uh, joints aren't uh, PVC glued in place, so they have a tendency to pop out if there's too much, you know, pressure on it. So that's something I need to do, and if the PVC doesn't work out, I'll probably make it out of some uh, nice thin uh, metal conduit that I have that's a little heavier than PVC, but a lot more durable. So let's get this show on the road and see the power armor in action. I will turn on the switch, get it out of the way, and this uh, foot plate would ideally be placed uh, like this so your foot would face outwards and the controls would go from there. So we have the knee, Leg twist. Mm -hmm, let's see here. Lateral movement. And the thigh movement. can't go out all the way because I need to get rid of this little bit of PVC right there. But, now what I need to do next is duplicate this uh, doohickey, put it on the other leg, blow up the PVC, and it should be more or less a working set of power armor. Uh, this it's moving fairly slowly because A, you need to get used to wearing the power armor, and B, I'm using a full-size car battery, which is pretty heavy just to get 12 volts. I'll probably end up using a pair of motorcycle or lawnmower style batteries, so it'll be about the same weight as a car battery, but twice the voltage, going twice as fast, maybe get some useful movement. So if you do enjoy my videos, be sure to like and subscribe share with others, and build your own set of power armor today. Bye.